Oh, Number five. <laughs> Are you getting blessed? Amen. All right. <laughs> Are you getting blessed in your home? I know you are. God is talking to us. Number five way, and I think many things are, you know, taking perspective now, you know, because God is a God of order. Yes, Number five way to receive your wonder. Don't let anyone's attitude or words distract you from the wonders or miracles that you desire. Don't let anyone's attitude or words distract you from the wonders you desire. You know, when you begin to want wonder from God, there will be people around you oh, yes. that want to distract you, whether intentionally or unintentionally, for whatever reason, focus on God and focus on the wonder you want. Can I hear you? Amen. amen. Don't let anybody's attitude. In Matthew 15, from verse 21 to 28, we saw a Syrophoenician woman who had a daughter who had been you know, oppressed and afflicted by the devil. And she came to Jesus. And she came to Jesus, desiring him that he would come and, you know, uh, rescue her daughter, deliver her daughter, you know, which is vexed with the devil. And the Bible says she was crying after Jesus. Then the disciples came and said to Jesus, why do I was saying, send her away, for she's troubling us. Hey, send her away, for she, what? she cried after us. That's the point a whole lot of people will miss their miracle. You will not leave the wonder you went to God to look for and begin to face the disciples. Did I come to you? Right. <laughs> Was I talking to you? What is your problem with my need? I didn't come to you. I came to God. Now you are telling me I'm crying after you. You think so much of yourself. You will tell the person off. And you have forgotten the wonder that you actually wanted. You see, you are already distracted. <laughs> Amen. Some people have left church. They came to church and said, I'm not coming back to that church because when I came, that sister, the way she looked at me, wow. she looked at me, the usher told me to sit here when I wanted to sit there. Is it usher you came for? Is it the people you came from? Is it the miracle you came for? What do you actually came for? Man, sir, what do you come for? We don't even know what you came for. Can you tell us why you came? Because now you have left the miracle you are seeking. You have begun to fight like the man at the pool of Bethesda. Nobody, I'm sure he cuts everybody out at that pool. He said, he said, I have no man to put me in the pool when 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 the when the when the, uh, the angel comes to trouble the water. So there's no need to be a troublesome. So when everybody comes, they avoid him. He was there for 38 years. Wow. Yes. So don't allow anybody's attitude to distract you from the wonder that you want to receive from God. Amen. Focus on the wonder and focus on your God. This woman, they, she didn't even respond to the disciples. Mm -hmm. She didn't say what. And now, to add uh, salt to the injury, even Jesus, God, did not even answer her a word. Mm -hmm. I've been calling on God. I'm not getting a word. God is not talking to me. If he doesn't talk to you, keep talking to him. Amen. Yeah, keep talking to him. Is it the talk you want or the wonder you want? Amen. <laughs> because I can tell you that what he said, he said, before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will work wonders in their life. I will answer. I will do something. God will work wonders in your life. So when you begin to talk to God, even though he has not talked back to you, keep talking. It's not the talk you want. If you want the talk from God, Read the Bible. If you want to talk from God, get my sermons, get messages. If you don't like any other message, read the audible version of the Bible. God is always talking. What you want is not a talk. What you want is a wonder. It's a miracle. So stick with God until you get your miracle. I say stick with God until you get your miracle. If God is talking, but what you want is not a talk. Because even if he talks, he doesn't address your issue, you'll see me there. So get the wonder. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from the wonder that you want. Somebody say, I hear. I hear. I say, say, I hear. I hear. Yeah, God did not answer a word. Mm. But the woman kept talking. Finally, she, she moved from talking to worship. Mm. And finally, Jesus said to her, I'm not sent to you. I'm sent, you know. So I don't give the children bread to dogs. Say, yeah. I'm a dog. Call me anything. Just make sure that my daughter is okay. Mm. 
That's the attitude of somebody that wants a wonder. It doesn't matter what it is. I just want my wonder. I want my miracle. And I'm going to focus on Amen. God. Let anybody say anything. People are too distracted about what people are saying, what the naysayers are saying, what the devil is saying. And at the end of the day, they forget about their wonder. Yeah. So I've, I've prayed too long. I've, I've talked. What's your problem? I don't even care what you think about it. I know what I want. I'm staying focused. Somebody says, stay focused. Stay focused. Do you also remember blind Bartimaeus? When he began to cry in Matthew chapter 10, verse 46, the Bible says from verse 46 to 48, when Jesus came to Jericho with his disciples, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Tamaeus, began by the wayside. He was crying to Jesus, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And the, and the people, Mark 10, I beg your pardon, Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 48. Mark 10, 46 to 48. They began to cry out to Jesus. They began to cry out. And the people said to him, they charged him and said, Hold your peace. The man was blind. Jesus is now passing. And the people charged him and said, Look, you are disturbing the service. I love people that shout amen in church. Amen. I love people that say hallelujah. I love people that scream and break protocols in service. Amen. When they receive their word. I can't even handle people who are too quiet. They can't clap. They can't shout. They can't sing. They can't make a noise. I found out that shouting, noising, clapping brings you know, miracles into our life. God is a God of noises. He said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Clap with the voice of, shout with the voice of triumph. Clap your hands, oh ye people. Shout unto the Lord. Let them make noises. Shout. Don't let nobody quiet you down. That's why when I'm preaching, it doesn't matter whether you shout or quiet. I'm preaching. I'm excited. I'm teaching God's word. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank Glory to God. Amen. They said, they charged him. You know what they mean? They say they charged him. They actually passed on him. Maybe the biggest man in the midst said, Hey, hold your peace. This is an important session. Jesus is passing by. The man said, Jesus! He didn't mind them. He, in fact, the man said, He, 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 he cried, what? He, he, the blind man, what? No, no, no. Go back to verse. They charged him, but what? He cried the more. What a great deal. In fact, he did it even more. He didn't allow anybody to, to stop him. Huh. Not allow anybody to quiet you down because Amen. people have attitude. Even they don't even have to say a word. Just you say, hallelujah, they don't look at you and say, what is it? <laughs> Shout him more, hallelujah! Amen. <laughs> I didn't come for you, please. <laughs> I'm here for my miracle, I'm here for my wonder. Amen. Your look won't intimidate me. Amen. Oh yeah, as a preacher, I go to preach a whole lot of places. When you come with all your anointing, I've prayed all night. I have fasted, I have believed God for miracles in that place, and I come to the church and I begin to preach, and some people are sitting there, they are just with a stern look, looking at you, as if they want to pour water on your anointing. I look at them face to face, eyeball to eyeball, and declare what God has said to me. Because I didn't come, I'm not sent by you, I'm sent to you. Yes, I came to deliver, I came to receive my miracle, and I preached God's word, and I found out that before the day is over, those same people change their attitude, they change their disposition, they become the highest and the best cheerleader and cheer person in that service. Wave your hands if God is talking to you this morning. So don't allow anybody intimidate you with their looks, don't with their attitude, with their actions. Don't let them quiet you down when you want a miracle from God. Amen. Father. Yeah, that's why we say, turn to your neighbor and say, God is about to bless me. If that person is not smiling, turn to the next neighbor and say, God is about to bless me. If that person is not responding, turn to yourself. The Bible says, David, encourage himself in the law. Come on, talk to yourself. I say, sing to yourself. Speak psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to yourself. When you need a miracle, if nobody is encouraging you, encourage yourself. Amen. Somebody shout, yes. Amen. 